So where's the best place to invest? Well, one technique you can do is to follow other people who've been doing it for a long time. And through our businesses, we've invested millions upon millions of pounds into property in the last 12 months. Do you want to know where we've invested? Well, you're about to find out. All of these deals that we're going to be talking about have been done mostly this year, but all within the last six months. The first deal we're going to cover is a prime development in Manchester. And this was a really exciting deal for us and for our investors because where it is within Manchester is an absolutely fantastic location. But it's right at the beginning of one of the largest ever regeneration projects in the whole of the north of England. The size of this regeneration project means it's going to be delivered over many, many years. And this particular development was two years off plan for our investors. So why did we and our investors like it so much? Well, there was a discount. And that's something that you can try and deploy as well as an investor yourself. When you are getting in at the very beginning of a site or at the very end of a site, there is an opportunity because that's often because developers are either looking to get sales away early on to give them confidence or their lenders confidence, or at the end of the site, they just want to get off and wrap things up and it's costing them to stay there. And often the final bits of their profit are tied up in those units as well and they want to get their hands on the cash. But why this development in Manchester? Because there's lots of them. It's got really nice back the kitchens are gorgeous bathrooms are lovely fantastic immunity so concierge gym and so much more and the developer themselves are really reputable the prices we paid were depended on whether they were one bed or two bed but they range from just over 200,000 to just shy of 350,000 that was the first deal we did so it's no surprise that we did that deal in Manchester but Rob as much as we talk about Manchester, we've been all over the country. Yes, another big deal that we did was in Derby. Now, Derby is a location that we first mentioned in our hotspots for 2021. So I'd already been investing in Nottingham for a long time, but didn't really know that much about Derby, despite it being next door. But then once we got switched on to Derby, we put it in our hotspots, and then we started actively looking for investment opportunities there. Now, why Derby in the first place? Well, there's lots of reasons like its connectivity, its strong local employers like Rolls-Royce, and importantly, the fact that the price points are low and average wages are actually very high, which means affordability is strong, which is important because that provides a driver for capital growth. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed to happen, of course, but the conditions are in place. So that's what attracted us to Derby. We then wanted to go and get the best we could find. We wanted something of real quality because quality rental stock in Derby is very low. And we also wanted one of the best locations because again, that's the thesis for where the capital growth comes. It always starts at the best properties in the best locations first. And when you look for that, often the compromise you make is on the yield. But the investment that we made actually had very strong yields as well. And that's another sign that there's some potential capital growth upside there. If you find something that's in a great location, that's high standard, and it's yielding stronger than you'd expect, that's another sign that there could be capital growth to come. So no surprises there. Manchester and Derby kind of following the investment thesis that we've talked about for a long time. But Rob, there's a bit of a surprise up next. Ipswich. Yeah, Ipswich is a new one for us. We've talked about looking at different areas that aren't getting as much attention. And like you've heard of the previous two deals, we've looked for something different here as well. And this particular deal in Ipswich was right on a waterfront. It's a marina location. And the price point for these apartments, one beds, were just over 200K. So it may surprise you that when you hear about marina front apartments, that sort of price point, that you can get from Ipswich to London in about an hour. That, to me, screams value. And when you get Get value you'll get our interest because we think at that sort of price point that it makes it very attractive again like you've heard before we've gone for development that's a bit unique it's marina location very high spec as well so for us it was a bit of a no-brainer and our investors loved it as well so remember you're going to hear us talk about a lot of the hotspots that we focus on and just like we're open to looking at other areas if the opportunity seems really strong you as an investor as well should be really open to different areas. Don't become too fixated. Derby and Manchester, phenomenal. Don't get me wrong, brilliant cities to invest in. Loads of potential. If we told you at the beginning of the show that Ipswich is a place to invest, you may have been surprised. But then when you go Ipswich, hour from London, the location that we talked about and everything else, then actually it becomes quite compelling. So when you invest and you're looking at areas, be open-minded because there may be a cracking deal somewhere that you've just not considered before. Another location we've invested in over the last six months is Sheffield. 
Now, Sheffield is not a surprise at all. We must have had Sheffield on our hotspots list for as long as we've been doing it. And we've recently had it as kind of a, a one to watch. We thought it was going to get there. We thought it wasn't quite ready yet. We thought that other cities would have the growth first. But Sheffield actually really outperformed last year. But still, we managed to find an investment that got in at a low price point. And because there's a lack of decent rental stock in the immediate area, there should be a strong yield as well. But the most important feature of this deal was that they were houses. And houses can be hard to come by because of the way that we saw stock, because of the types of locations that we're in, because of where the opportunities are. It's historically been difficult for us to get our hands on houses, but we've got absolutely nothing against houses. We personally have houses and flats. We recommend building a portfolio that contains both houses and flats. So being able to find houses in a location we loved at a good price point of good quality with a strong yield, that was one that we signed the paperwork on very quickly. The next deal we did was tenanted, and it was actually 10 tenanted apartments. When someone's trying to sell tenanted apartments, their market is actually limited. So while a lot of people are put off by tenanted apartments because there's more work and more research to be done, it can actually create an interesting opportunity. Now this development was in an area of Manchester called Castlefield. And this development also had a really good spec and really good amenity as well. So something that we've talked about before, you know, looking for a development that stands out. Yes, the tenanted part was really appealing for us, but it doesn't mean we neglect everything else when we're looking at an investment. So why did we like this? Well, Manchester, box ticked, high spec, strong amenity, box ticked. And then the fact that it was tenanted and we were able to get a strong deal off the back of that. I'll touch on another two deals quickly here. They are off plan and both in Manchester. So as we've covered Manchester already, I'm not going to go on about it too much, but the first one was in Old Trafford. And I think what's useful there is looking for the ripple effect. So Manchester City Centre's done fantastically well and is still doing fantastically well. But again, you've heard that we look for stuff that's special when we're looking at the city centre, not just any old stock. But where a lot of investors won't venture is a little outside the city. But the ripple effect takes place. Now, the final investment we're going to talk about is very different. These are not deals you do very often, but it's nice to have the crown jewel. And that's what we got with the penthouse at Deansgate Square in Manchester. I don't have to talk about how amazing it is because you can see it for yourself. We filmed a podcast there a month or two back. If you go to our YouTube channel, search Property Hub UK, you'll be able to find that and we'll give you a little tour as well. So it is absolutely stunning as a development and as an apartment in its own right. But what about as an investment? Well, what attracted us to the development were a couple of things. First of all, the amenities themselves are absolutely outstanding. So you can get buildings that, when they go up, are nice and shiny and new and they're popular, but they don't last because something else that's better comes along and that kind of loses its shine. Can't see how that's going to happen with Deansgate Square, at least for a very long time, because it's just absolutely unbelievable as a development, as a place to live. There's also some prestige associated with it being the tallest. It kind of sounds a bit silly, but there is. It's real. There's a reason why you've heard of the Shard, and even if you're not from London. If you're from Manchester, you would have heard of Beetham Tower, which was the previous tallest building. But the penthouse that we invested in is the tallest residential tower in the UK. And when you put all that together, the prestige with the incredible amenities and the spec of the apartment itself, that means that you've got an extremely high net worth tenant profile. It's certainly not the workhorse of your portfolio, but it adds something a bit different. And another reason that we were attracted to this is the yield is much higher than we would have expected somewhere of that quality. So there we have it, a lot of deals, a lot of investments over the year so far, and lots more to be done. If you're interested in those investments and think they appeal to you, then check out Property Hub Invest by going to propertyhub.net forward slash invest. And they're the type of areas that we target. And I think there's lessons that you can draw from all of those deals. If you apply the principles of how we invest, looking for something special, looking at areas that are doing really well right now, and also looking at areas that are below the radar that you feel everyone's just kind of missing out on right now, by applying at least some of these principles, I'm sure you'll be far more successful. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, there are two quick things for you to do. First, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and then go check out the Property Podcast wherever you listen.